seriously? Hey, hey guys, and welcome to this product review video with myself, 6 Plus Stevo. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at this. This is the Waz Style Battle Wagon. You can get this from the American website Buckets and Stuff. Um, it costs $70 and it is designed by none other than our very own Ian Waz Wyatt. Some of you may be familiar with him. He's got a YouTube channel of his own. I will post a link in the description below to his channel and the website where you can get hold of one of these for yourself. Um, just before I get into the review of the product, just a little bit about Waz's channel and what he does. He is a um, designer and creator of Orc vehicles of all kinds. Um, he scratch builds virtually everything out of Plasticard. And what that guy can do with Plasticard is just simply incredible. He creates some of the most beautiful sort of uh, GW alternatives you, you could dream of. He has created all kinds of things from battle fortresses, uh, killer cans, uh, various buggies and battle wagons and looted wagons of all kinds. He is an absolute master with the plastic card and I highly recommend you check out his channel. You will learn a lot, you'll be amazed, you'll be inspired. Really top stuff guys. Um, so yeah, please do check out the link in the description below to go and check out his channel, subscribe, tell him 6 plus Stevo sent you. And uh, yeah, I'm sure he'll be pleased to have you go over and check it out. Um, but I am very pleased that he was very kind to send me this. Um, like I said, this is available from the American website Buckets and Stuff. They have started producing um, resin casts of his creations. He designs these products, sends them over to the guys in America. They then produce these in resin as kits for us to get at home and make our own alternatives. And uh, yeah, this, this one in particular is very, very cool indeed. Now, you may have noticed from this what you're seeing on the screen now that this particular one does have a bit of damage and a, a bit of repair needed on it. You can see some sort of bubbles and things here. Um, and I'll be honest with you guys, I've I've partially built this. Um, I haven't done the full cleanup on it yet. You can see some sort of uh, mold lines and things that need removing and a bit of flash. Um, now, Waz did contact me when he was sending me this and pre-warned me. He said, now this, what I'm sending you is a very, very early prototype. Um, so I don't think this is actually for sale on the website yet. Um, I have checked though, it, it is listed and it's listed on there is coming soon. So when you buy the product yourself, it will look a lot better than this. It will be a lot cleaner. Uh, like I said, this was a very, very early prototype, just a test run. Um, but Waz wanted to send it to me um, for me to review for you guys and share with you what I thought. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. So yeah, this is Waz's version of the Battle Wagon and I absolutely love it. I love these giant, giant wheels. I love the huge, huge, ridiculous looking ram on the front. Um, and one thing Waz does with all his vehicles that I love is just rivets, rivets everywhere. These are amazing for painting, um, really easy to paint and dry brush and get all that detail in. And uh, these vehicles look great with loads of rust effects and stuff. And if you're getting the dry brushing with some sort of bulk gun metal and stuff, these rivets pick out beautifully and uh, just looks really, really orky. I love the crazy turrets, especially this one on the top where it's got sort of turrets sticking out the side of it, turrets upon turrets upon turrets. Um, these hatches open. I have actually glued that one shut, but you do have the option to open in that one. Uh, this one I haven't glued yet. So you can see you can have it either open or closed. The turrets themselves are really cool. Again, loads of rivets on them. We've got scopes. We've got a sort of automated uh, twin big shooter turret here. Um, we've got the obligatory power claw, which I think I still haven't glued there, which still can open. You get a lot of poseability out of that, um, which is very cool. The turrets come off. I'll just get that off there. It's wedged in there quite tight. But so you can have options for different turrets. The actual vehicle itself is just one solid piece. It's one big lump of resin. 
So putting this thing together, once you've cleaned it up, is very simple. You've got the main body, the four wheels, the turrets that come with various smaller components of the hatches and stuff, um, and the power, the, the big sort of, uh, uh, I can't remember what they're called now, the big claw, you know what I mean, the grabbing claw, that's what it's called, uh, comes in a few um, components. I'll turn it, let me just pop this turret back on. Uh, I love this as well, the driver's cab visor with the mesh on it. Again, a bit of dry brush on that, that'll come up looking really cool. Um, I'll swivel it round here. I haven't glued the wheels on yet. Come round to the back bit. We've got the back entrance with a hatch that we can glue on there. This does actually come as well with an exhaust bit that goes on there, which again, I haven't glued on yet. Um, we've got some vent vents on the side here. We've got the steps, and again, you can see a little bit of damage. I think some of this happened in post. Um, so there was a couple of little bits damaged, but easy to repair. And like I say, guys, please, please don't let the poor condition of this miniature affect your decision to purchase. Because like I say, I was pre-warned that what he was sending me was a very early prototype, very rough. Um, these will be a bit cleaner and a bit nicer with the final product. Um, and I love this as well. We've got the DAGs sort of built on there. Now, a lot of people like to paint these on their vehicles or use transfers. I love that Waz has actually taken the time to put that detailing on, which makes it great for us painters, makes it so much easier rather than having to go freehand, which I know some people are uncomfortable with or not confident enough to do. The fact that it's already on there and then you can just paint these up in your different colors and add that detail, very orky. Um, but yeah, it's a, a fantastic looking vehicle. I'm really impressed with it. And what you're actually seeing is not all of it either because it also comes with these turrets which again i haven't yet mounted on and the reason for that is because typical of me i get a kit and i immediately want to change things on it and uh, use bits of it on other things and i love the sort of world war one looking inspired big shooters with the sort of circular magazine holds they're very very cool and um yeah i've I just look at these and I think, oh, I kind of quite like to uh, maybe modify these for a war boss or a boy with a big shooter or something. So, yeah, haven't quite decided yet whether I'm going to mount them on this vehicle as intended or um, use them for something else. I, I don't know yet. Um, but, yeah, you could easily modify this. You could you could easily swap out that turret from a turret from a standard battle wagon, mix and match. You could use these turrets in your looted wagons. I see no reason why you couldn't use this as a looted wagon. But as a battle wagon, it's perfect because it comes with a lot of the options that are legal game options for the battle wagon. And in terms of scale, it's pretty much dead on. A bit bigger, but not by so much that it would affect the rules or give anyone any problems in allowing you to include it in your games. So just for comparison purposes, I'm going to bring over GW's Battle Wagon. And as you can see, you've got the Waz Wagon is a little bit wider, but in terms of length, pretty much the same. But uh, as you can see, these I do apologize, guys. I'm having a bit of repair that there. They're pretty much spot on in terms of height, length, the width is almost identical um, with these sort of bits that bulge out the bag of one. It's pretty much the same. And that's another thing I really love. This battle wagon's not finished, by the way, guys. This is a uh, another Steve-O work in progress to join many of my other half-finished projects. Um, but what I love about Waz's conversions is that a lot of other people, when they convert or kit bash or create things, they dramatically change the scale usually by going a lot bigger or they will add in things that, that the rule of cool which which is great and is fine um, but what I like about Waz's designs is that they are he's very strict with himself and um, stays within the confines of the rules in terms of like I said the scales are very comparable um, the weapon options that he supplies in the kits are the weapon options that you get in the data sheet. And uh, you can see what it is. I think uh, if you put this on the table, it might catch people's eye as something unusual and different. 
um, and they'll be very impressed by it, but also they will immediately be able to tell what it is, which is really helpful in just cutting out any potential issues with using third party miniatures or conversions or scratch builds in your games. Now, obviously you wouldn't be able to take this to sort of uh, official GW tournaments or ITC tournaments because unfortunately they don't let you use conversions and scratch builds and third party products. But in your friendly games and in your sort of uh, tournaments with your local club and whatever, I see no reason why you couldn't use something like this. And it, hell, even if you couldn't, the thing looks cool and people are gonna want it in their collection. Um, yeah, I just think it's a fantastic alternative to GWs. And uh, I personally sort of go with the rule that no two Orc vehicles should look the same. So for me, it's great. I've, I've gone from one, one battle wagon to two now. And uh, yeah, but you can tell what they both are. They both look really cool, but you've got something that looks a little bit different and I like it a lot. Uh, so yeah, top marks from me. Um, go and check out the website, Buckets and Stuff, if you want to order one for yourself. Um, those of you that are based in America anyway, I, I don't actually know if they ship to the UK and Europe. You'll have to check out the website and have a look at that for yourself. But uh, yeah, go and check it out, guys. And also check out Waz's channel if you want to see some other awesome creations. But for now, guys, this review is over. And this is 6 Plus Stevo signing out. And I'm back. Yeah, sorry guys, in making the video, in the excitement of doing it, I forgot to mention one other important point on this, which I feel it is important to point out. Again, another thing that Waz warned me of when he sent it to me. Um, now, there is one part missing from this that will be included in the proper kit if you do decide to purchase one for yourself. Um, and that is an extension for the main turret here. Because um, as you can see, it doesn't actually swivel over there. You don't get the full 360 movement out of it because of the height. And that is because there is a vital part missing which will extend the turret up to about this high so it does actually swivel round there. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys because it is important. Some of you may have noticed that. Um, I just finished filming and I thought, ah, balls. I didn't say about that bit with the turret extender. But yeah, just wanted to throw that last little bit of info in there for you guys. But anyway, for real this time, this is 6 Plus Stevo, signing out.